have a regular mouth. No, but do you see? Okay. Well, when you make the crazy face, <laughs> when you make the eyes wide okay. open face. Okay. Sorry, we were, we were gone for so long. Everyone, take your medis- medicine. I haven't taken my medicine in like two days. I don't realize. Oh, I just took mine. Well, it's time for you. Luckily, mine. Well, unluckily, mine's not about my mood, and so I forget all the time. Oh, that's great, actually. Difference. Yeah. Mine ruins my life, mm. as you learned. <laughs> I take my mood one at nighttime. Yeah, which that's is good. funny because when I talked to my doctor, who I'm obsessed with. She was like, really? It's like, yeah. And she was like, how do you sleep? And I was like, pretty good. And she was like, interesting. Some people say it keeps them up. And I was like, well. Not me. Not me. Sleepy girl. Yeah. Switch <laughs> on over. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't had water in forever. Water yourself. You're but a little echo. Have you eaten any food? <laughs> it's food time. It's literally time for food. More like over slay. <laughs> it does look so cute. No. Um, yeah. I love this little overlay that we made yesterday. It is so precious. It turned out really cute. I can't believe you did that with your hands. I watched it happen. I watched it happen. I will believe you bought it from Etsy now that I know that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm here to make sure everyone has a little extra income. Yeah. So if you'd like to make one... Of your own, you can, and you can sell them on Etsy. And you can do it in Canva. They're also, yeah, they're literally digital. So it's like you make them, you put them up, and people just download them. That's amazing. I could be doing Canva for fun and selling it. That's how I feel. Now, to be fair, I don't know if there's laws about, like, certain things you can't use from Canva, but it seems like if you pay for Canva Pro, people, I can tell, what I can tell you is people do it. That's what I can tell you. (laughs) Mm. I've definitely seen shirts with things that I know are just art from Canva. Yeah. Now, what I I personally feel Mm. is that if it's on Canva and you paid for it, then you're allowed to do it. However, I personally would not use, like, anything that's, like, art, art. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, like, this little washi tape. Mm-hmm. I don't really know if that's art art, but this little stamp down here, if I was going to sell it, I don't know if I'd use that little stamp. Yeah. Yeah. If they're not adding a ton of design to it and making something new out of something. Mm-hmm. Do not fuck around with Nintendo. The <laughs> law doesn't apply to me. I am too small. You're literally right. Yeah. They can't catch you if you're small. Mm-mm. You probably pay for the rights in Canva premium. That's what I would assume. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But anyway, I'm very excited to play Animal Crossing today. I'm very sad today's Kyle's last day. I'm very depressed about it. I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah. The day is so long. That's There's true. so much day left. It's 8.13 in the morning. There's a lot of day left. I don't leave until 8 p.m. at night, technically. That's true. That's when the plane takes off, though, so I should be there before that. Yeah. Night. If you haven't seen or didn't know, um, our front headlight and one of our back taillights in our car are both out. Um, one, the headlight happened two days ago. The taillight happened a week ago. Yeah. So sad. Kyle is going home today. Yeah. Anyway, so we have to drive to Portland with a fucked up headlight. So I'm very nervous about that. Yeah, maybe we should go really early so you can come back here before it's dark. I think that's our plan. Yeah. Well, because we have to go early anyway because you're supposed to be there at least two hours right. before. Really two and a half hours because it's But I'm saying of... Oregon darkness hours yeah. are earlier. That's true, but not super early yet. Yeah. Because we'll be taking you at like... It's an hour away. Yeah. And you should get there at like 5.30. Yeah. So we have to leave here at like 4 or something. Okay, the hours are running out right before my eyes. Yeah. Well, you'll still be in the car with us. That's true. So we'll be together. But it is very sad. Yeah, that's what everyone said is like, if you're changing one, you might as well change them both. So that like the next time they'll go out together. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's wild that two of your your backlight and your front. I light know went out someone at the same must have time. done all four of them at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why is it so? I heard taillights are easier, depending on your car, easier to do at home by yourself, and I, that's fine. I don't mind learning a new skill. I know we're trying to get Kyle to move to Oregon. They're trying desperately to make me any, move in here. We try to get any of our friends to move here. <laughs> to be fair, 
there, it's great. And That's you're right. true. Yeah. I wish we had a little plane. If we had our own plane, though, we would be in Florida a lot to visit Kyle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm I'm not nervous to drive like I won't be able to see because everywhere we're going is very well lit. I am the Portland MLM girls. <laughs> I am very nervous to get pulled over. Yeah, you don't deserve that. Oh, Echo, we called everywhere else except Toyota yesterday. And all of them were like, we don't do that. It's too complicated. So I think we're going to have to go to Toyota. Yeah. Because, like, to change our front headlight, because of the type of car we have, it's like you have to take the entire front panel off, um, which is cuckoo bananas. So Phoebe called so Valvoline and... What else do they call? Valvoline, Walmart, Lesh Swab, and somewhere else. And they were all like, oh, we don't change headlights. It, like, we can do it if it's really, like, an easy car. But if it's hard, we won't do it. Sergeant Strawberry, that's a scary story. Yeah. I mean, content, hope you're okay. Content warning, scary. Yeah. 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 So we only know because our friend Hannah had a taillight go out recently, or a front headlight go out recently. And she just drove with her brights for like a week. <laughs> um, and then when she finally got it done, uh, it was literally like they had to take the entire like front like bumper off essentially. And then still after that, they had to take something else off in order to have access to where you change the light. That's far too much. Like there's not another way to do it. Why would they make it so difficult? When they build the car. I don't know why they would make it so difficult. To they know it. you'd have to change it. Right. <laughs> I guess it's because then they know you have to go to Toyota for them to do it. Yeah. And then so they can it's charge you. It's all about you. the money. Yeah. <sighs> the tail should be pretty easy to fix, though, so we should be able to do it. Yeah. Because, like, you can see, when you open the trunk, you can see the, like, panel thing that you just pop out. Why are cars so complicated? What I don't understand is why they don't make it, like... I don't know. Like, you take a little plunger. Right. You pop off the little thing. Mm. Change the light. Pop it back on. With the plunger. With the plunger. Mm. I've got brilliant ideas over here. It makes perfect sense to me. Mine's from 2016, and they've never gone out because they're LEDs. Oh, um, Dad doesn't really know about cars. I mean, he knows more than we know. But I wouldn't say he's, like, a car guy. Maybe he is. I bought my car in April. It already needs four new tires. That's too many tires. It's if the lights four. are hard to fix, maybe they should do it because they fix cars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's fine. We're we're super. I thought car knowledge came with car. Came with dad. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. We also just bought a new battery. That was normal, though. Like, batteries typically last, like, five years right. if you don't have a hybrid. Um, and we bought our car, like, five years ago. And right, like, a month after we bought it, the battery died. Oh. Yeah. But the car was about three years old three at that point. Yeah. yeah, so it was time. So it was, like, not crazy. And then, you know... It wasn't, it wasn't anything cuckoo bananas. Mm. So that's good. Um, we also have like an ass flap on our car because part of the bumper's coming off. Our car's only from 2017. Do all Americans drive automatic? I only know one person who has a stick shift. My mom tried to get me to learn on a stick shift. I she, won't do it. Well, she like got me a car, which was a huge deal. And I was like, holy shit. And then it was a stick shift. And I was like, I can't drive that. No. And she was like, I thought it would be like inspirational. And I was no. like, why would you do this to me? I and it stalled out several times. And I was literally like, yeah. I'm too scared to drive it. And I never will. So she sold it. <laughs> yeah. Stick shifts are only old cars. You can. Yeah. Of the people I know, I would say less than 10% know how to drive a, a manual. I don't know why people who are manual leaders are so they're always like, it's like, cool. I don't even know what their argument is. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm I don't like, get it. You like jerky car? Yeah, you like how jerky it is. You like how you have to work much harder. It. I feel like yeah. it's similar to when people are like, I don't actually own a microwave because there's chemicals in the microwave. Yeah. 
And I cook everything in the oven. And I'll be like, okay, I'm happy for you. That takes a long time. It takes a long time. Sorry you don't have mental illness, I guess. Right. I'm being silly goofy. If you have big feelings, like, you're entitled to them. But. Yeah. I don't know. Buy an air fryer looser. <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. Ugh. We upgraded our air fryer after the fire. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now we air really fryers are them. amazing. Yeah. Big fan. The chemicals make it taste good. <laughs> Their argument is nothing but in the apocalypse when it might be a limited, be a little limited. That's like the only case I see it coming in clutch. I don't understand. <laughs> I just want to learn manual to impress pretty girls. Okay, that's a good reason. It's not easier to navigate. I can tell you because I don't know how to do it. Fancy rich people. Oh, that's so funny you say that. I feel like it's people who are like lower middle class mm -hmm. who like build and work on cars. Yes. Are the ones that I know that are like, I really like having a manual. And I'm always like, okay, what if you drive your house? What if you drive your house? What if you drive your car to someone's house and there's an emergency and you don't have hands anymore and they need to get you to the hospital? Right. Now your car's broken. Now you have to pay for an ambulance. It's like 95. 95% manual? That's insane. Actually, I wonder if, like, there's a... Like, when it comes to rental cars in, like, the UK and Ireland and stuff like that, I wonder if they're mostly manual. That I is mean, stressful. I never yeah. thought about that. Uh, that would be... You get in and you're like, ah, I rented a car. Can't wait to go on my English drive. Yeah. And then you're like, not only I is also... it on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I also saw a TikTok where, like, uh, they have, like, a huge sticker on the steering wheel that's, like, be on the left side of the road. And that they like put it when Americans are renting cars. I, it's smart. No, that is smart. I would not but, be like, offended so at all. So scary that it, they they that's the answer. Yeah. I will say, seeing a woman drive stick shift is hot. I feel like maybe it's because of the type of people I know. I feel like it's a really angry way to drive a car. That's how I feel. Because everyone I know who drives manual, it's like here they go, and then they're like, <sighs> and I'm like, stop <laughs> punching. Yeah. When I drive my car, I turn it on, I go drive, and then I'm going. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. You can hire automatic cars here, but they're more expensive. Hmm. hmm. I don't think I'd be doing that then. No. It just feels, it feels like everyone I know who wants to, who's like a manual elitist has like anger issues also. Mm. You control speed by if you push, but if you push with your foot really hard, it go really fast. If you don't push as much, it don't go as fast. Yeah, it's a gas pedal. <laughs> With the gas pedal. He does have anger issues, though. See what I'm saying? Something to consider. And I almost ghosted him because of it. Yeah, I feel like it's like... <laughs> that makes more sense than the magic stick is in the right position. I also don't like how they think they're better just because they drive stick. The Prindle is much better. Mine has dual modes. Yeah, I don't know. Even my grandpa, when he had a manual car, like, he's, like, the chillest guy ever. And I was like, this is not fun. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, how are you liking this? I don't like And they'll be like, you can feel when you need to do it. And I'm like, right. You know. I right, I feel it. I hear it. I don't it's like hearing it. me. I don't like that I'm like, I have to feel the car, like, <laughs> chugging along before you change it. And then I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm in a roller coaster. I like that it's really smooth, mm -hmm. and I just go the same excitedness the whole time. Mm -hmm. I have to listen to the car like a horse girl. It is the same energy as people who back into every parking spot. Mm -hmm. I'm always like, you don't get a medal. No one cares. No. So you can peel out. Yeah, it's not cool. I feel like what's cool is having a hybrid that you drive slowly. Mm -hmm. You know? Not that I do that because they're expensive, but... As a person in a rural community, you are entirely wrong. I'm literally right. Everyone who has big feelings about driving a manual has anger issues and would be <laughs> friends with my dad. <laughs> Survive the swinging gondolas in the Ferris wheel at California Adventure. You're literally so right. Get nitty with it. I wouldn't say they were ever like 
uncommon. I've always known at least like one person who's driving a manual. It just like I guess they were more I guess they were more common when I was younger. Yeah. But like my family always had automatics. Arm applesauce. You're losing points quickly. Put your gorilla away. <laughs> gorilla. It's really about the health of the car. This is giving, like, when I was, like, I'm watching House Hunters, I'm so fucking tired of people talking about how equity is important. The- Manual cars require less maintenance, but you have to put in so much work to enjoy the car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, they're, yes, exactly. If I have to work a lot more while I use the car, then it's not less maintenance. Yeah. It's less go to it's, the car doctor. It's daily pain. It's daily maintenance. <laughs> Is what you're saying. Also, some of them you have to buy special gas, right? Mm-hmm. It's too much. She won, and we're still not talking about it. It's anyway. It's, the reason it's similar is because sometimes people will be like, "And I'll have my car for 50 years," and I'll be like, "Will you? Like, I don't know if that's pop. They don't make things the way that right. they made them in the 50s." I think even the person who takes the most care of their car isn't going to be able to drive it for more than, like, 25 years. Mm-hmm. So they don't make things to last that long anymore. Right. Because of capitalism. I feel like I would have to understand cars much more to drive a manual, and I do not have enough brain space. Exactly. It's very valid. He didn't get his car to 500k miles. He got to 450k. He is first and foremost a menace. That's I great. love that about him. That's honestly amazing. Yeah. That's so far. There's only one group of people driving wrong, and it's the Italians. It will last that long if it's just for pretty in a garage. Oh, my God. Yes, that's the other thing. That's true. People will be like, I bought this. We, I have a friend whose boyfriend is like this, and he has this car that I personally think is really ugly. Number one. That's important. It's number two. It's like from 1985. It's very boxy. And he's like, yeah, this is my special car that I only drive on Saturdays. And it's like a manual and it's really loud. And I'm like, hey, who is this fun for? It's right. only fun for you. When a woman sees you in this car out on the street, she will not think it's cool. Mm-mm. She'll be like, why is this car so boxy and so loud and it's so uncomfortable? Yeah. Why is the air conditioning so bad? <laughs> It is for other men. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My partner, partner only loves boxy cars and I like round cars. I love a car that has Bluetooth, mm. good air conditioning, mm-hmm. windows that work, and appropriate cup holders. Heated seats. It doesn't, I mean, like, it does get really cold here, but I feel like heated seats aren't something I need. That's just, that's just a butt sweat creator. That's just like, it's a bonus. The car scene is huge here, and they do this thing where they buy really old cars and make the exhaust bang like gunshots. Ah. Yes. I want a Saturday Jeep that I can customize into my own Barbie Jeep. (gasps) Saturday Barbie Jeep. That's really cute. Love that idea. Yeah. I do have a cloth seat. Sorry to leather. You can always buy covers. Ever since Kilimanjaro Safaris, I'm really afraid of cloth seats. Really? Yeah, because they they were so disgusting. No, because they were so, so much... Those B- body those and things butt sweat. are now are they automatic? Yeah. yeah There's big ass trucks because they're so old. Yeah. Have they like, been updated since wet. the attraction opened in 1999? No. No, they have not. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, they also only go seven miles an hour. Oh, I think I did know that. They only go seven miles an hour unless you hit this puck on the ground that makes it so you can go 30. I miss the puck every day. So I was going seven miles an hour around Animal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, go around go around the parking lot again. You got to get it. And I'd be like, I'm not going to. Yeah. Just let me go. Yeah. Just let me go seven miles. It's yeah. fine. Listen. Um, yeah. Here's the thing. Being our age, it's like, I'll never own a home. Right. I'll never own a car for long Yeehaw. enough that I need to have an opinion on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've never had a car more than, like, five years. Yeah. Because they, they always... just break. <laughs> well, and, like, I, you know, our car now, I hope we have for a long time, we get it, like, regularly oil changed. Yeah. And, like, we're going to go get our headlight at, fix it freaking Toyota, I guess. 
But it's like, I don't know. At the end of the day, I feel like the average Joe is like not, not capable to have the brain space to do like the serious work it takes to like get equity out of your car. Yeah. Similar with houses. People on house hunters will be like, well, what about when we resell the house and buy a bigger house? And I'm always like, okay, you have big dreams there, buddy. Right. Every, you said that's happening. Everyone I know, if if they can afford to buy a house, they're dying in that house. Yeah. People aren't selling houses anymore to get bigger houses. Mm-mm. It's not happening. What you can do is enjoy what you have while you have it. So true. And that's why we paint our house crazy colors. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There is too much going on right now. You know what we should do about it is play Animal Crossing. So true. Play a little Animal Crossing about it. We specifically bought a house we could die in. Yeah. That's what it's all about. A death house. (laughs) My children are getting two things from me. My student loan debt and the little $6 house I'll be able to afford. (laughs) Literally exactly. Uh, Okay, well, we have to do a system update, so it's fine. I have to move this over anyway, so... Do y'all know that audio that's like, you treat a car like you treat a woman? Yes. Someone needs to crash the housing market. We're so close, right? I don't know how we do that as a group. Yeah, are we in the bubble? Yeah. It needs to burst. (laughs) With a manual car. (laughs) Now, if they start saying stuff like that, maybe I'll learn. It's to see if I'll have to move for residency. I didn't even think about that. That would be so stressful. I think if I had a job where, like, you might have to move, I would just never buy a house. I don't... That's so stressful. We will not afford their houses, and then maybe they will get cheap again. You see an old person who looks like they have a house too big for them. Knock them down. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe, Maybe send some daggers with your eyes. Yeah. And say, please, let us buy houses. Yeah. Now, Lizzie, what kind of career is that? Yeah, where do I get that thing, career? The only thing I can think of is, like, military? Mm. Maybe? Take their keys. <laughs> if you see an old person... Take their keys. Take their home. <laughs> Just simply move in. Okay, sorry it's so loud. <laughs> Quick, everyone dye their hair. <gasps> Our food's at the door. <gasps> They just moved into smaller, more expensive homes. My parents paid off a house only to turn around and buy something smaller with a yard. Uh, clergy? Oh, do they give you a house? That's cool. Squatters rights, not squatters wrongs. Build communes on the land. That's true. Uh, we have seen some people this week. Driving. Yes. <laughs> that we were like, we have been. <laughs> Hang on, let me text. Okay, now I need you guys to know, I am a cardinal, where is my house? <laughs> um, oh, that's cool. That's really nice. Okay, hang on. I have to text my husband now. I do have a lot of questions about my grandparents' house, because they lived in it for so long. In New York? Yeah. It's not like a big house. Not in the city. No. But, like upstate. Oh, that's cool. See, I've never known that. I didn't my, know that either. Because my grandpa is a pastor, and they bought their house for sure. And I definitely know some rabbis, and I know that they're in their own house. I definitely, I grew up Baptist, and they definitely did not provide housing. Mm-hmm. Now, we did have, like, one house that we, like, owned, and people lived there, like, when they first moved. So, like, they had, in my lifetime that I was at that church... Um, they had, like, two new youth pastors come in, and both times, like, they moved from another place, and so they stayed in, like, the house that the church owned until they could buy their own house. Oh, that's nice. So it was, like, two years. Oh, no, Sheldon's sick. This is Sheldon. I don't, I don't like him. He was here when I started my island. I like his Christmas hat. Yeah, well, he's sick. Oh, so he wears a sick hat? Yeah, this is his sick hat. Okay. Oh. And he sneezes he's directly on, on you. you. He's trying to get you sick. Yeah. Trying to give you a little hat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, I don't think you ever get sick in this country. Like, you, good because that would be annoying. Yeah, you use medicine when you. Yes, you use medicine when you. How's that? 
You use medicine when you uh, get stung by the bees. <laughs> Which I thought was inevitable. Yes. Kyle didn't know you could catch the bees with a net. I thought that you were only supposed to run away from them. And then you just always get stung? Yeah, Phoebe was like, have you ever not gotten stung? And I was like, I thought that was just like unluckiness. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See? I think, I think Pinless is doing a bit because we've played this game a lot. Okay, well, some of us don't know anything and don't have anyone to help. Sometimes. You can also hide in the house. That is true. I didn't know about that either. <laughs> I feel like I might have heard that, but I've never actually done it. Pinless, we've played this game, not I guess not so much anymore. You could also use the pipes to get away from them. Use the pipe? What pipes? That's so. Oh, I have a pipe. Hang on, I'll show you. It was a crossover thing they did with Mario. Oh, man, I forgot I don't have a shovel right now. Was that an eel? Yeah, I caught him there. Mm. I'll show you a pipe. Hang on. I keep one in my pocket. <gasps> what? <laughs> Where are you going? I. It's wherever you put the second pipe. So I put mine behind Nook's cranny so I can quickly go sell stuff. This is very confusing to Yeah, me. you could start your island over. Those don't belong in there. Oh, man. This is Animal Crossing. I'm meant to be there. It's okay. I need to make a shovel because I don't have one. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Maybe I will restart my island. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> our Hello. pool boy brought our breakfast! Hello. Okay, figure out who's in the sea. Oh, is it raining out there? No. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Did you already grab yours? No, it's on the side of the Oh, yours is the French toast paper. Okay, well, it's all closed. Mine is the French toast paper. And the Phoebe says, I can't open that. Yeah, I guess. I'm not allowed. I figured you guys could grab your stuff. That makes sense, totally. Thank you. Some people can make it. Makes oh. perfect sense. I was confused at first. Does it make sense now? I don't know what it is. That could be mine, yes. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, oh that's okay, that looks too. Go grab the Coke. There you go. Coke's here. Coke Listen, I haven't really done anything in my house, so don't judge it. Did you get a coffee? Yeah. Oh. Did you get vanilla also? Mm mm. No? Mm mm. I got pumpkin. Oh, which one's which one? Pumpkin. Which one is which? Okay, look at them. Okay. Which one's giving pumpkin? I would guess this one. I think so too. I wouldn't say I'm certain. No. I wasn't being snotty. Oh, okay. I meant for real. I meant since they're vibes. I'm hearing that. I wasn't saying I knew the answer. I got you. I said which one's which, and all you said was pumpkin. Yeah, well, I said pumpkin, actually. Oh, I'm so sorry. That made some sense. I was just, I thought, maybe you misheard me. No. So I wasn't being snotty either. I think you were. Okay. I appreciate the check-in. Okay, did you want your little straw? Hand me my little straw, please. I thank you for my little straw. Somebody must have had pumpkin. Yeah, well, it said pumpkin frosty cold brew. So I might hate it and ask you to make me uh, a drink, but we'll find out. Oh, my God. Anyway, I haven't actually decorated my house. I still have a cot. I do have Happy Home Paradise picture. No, this is just from, um, oh my god, what's her name? The Rug Camel girl. This is my workstation. And I have a couple of plants. Every time they have a plant, I buy it. I have pirate boots. I do still have fencing. Oh, wait, no. I need softwood, I think, to make a shovel and iron to make a better shovel. I'm not really into the turnip market. It's because I, honestly, it's because I usually forget to play on Sundays. But I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be re-obsessed. I think I'm going to make Animal Crossing my new, oh, no, wait. Oh, I need hardwood. I think I'm going to try and make Animal Crossing my new two-week wait hyperfixation. It is National Coming Out Day. I saw that. Remember when we all played Animal Crossing all the time? It's so complicated. That's why I asked someone to describe it to me. It sounded like an NFT scenario. Everyone come out right now or else. That's so true. 
Arm, I need you to know, meeting you changed my life. Because every time I see your name, I think of meeting you in Disneyland. And you remind me a lot of one of my friends. And vibes, and also a little bit what he looks like. And so now every time I see you, it is like two friends in one. Tiger King came out? Oh, when Tiger King came out. Like, not out of the closet, but the show. That's so slight. You can have Gorilla back. <laughs> it's just for you. My name is Morgan. My pronouns are she, her. The turnips are confusing. It is essentially gambling. They don't want you to know that, but that's exactly what it is. Got your little coke? Oh, I like your polka yeah. What? Pocahontas cup? I like your pop pop pop. Oh, I need to put the Thank things back that I put in there. Cabinet. Yeah. This is the loud car that comes by our house every day. That he's driving manual. Mm-hmm. He <laughs> definitely is. <laughs> it's not. I secretly came out loudly at 30. Oh, it's not a secret. I already came out loudly at 30. I thought you were saying I secretly and loudly came out at 30. And I was like, honestly, good for you. Yeah. Slay. I am bisexual, which honestly I feel like is how I read. But it is still somehow like kind of surprising to some people <coughs> that I'm not a lesbian, which is so funny. Because mm. I talk, if you're at my house, I talk a lot about sexy men. Yeah. Whispered it into a megaphone. Love that for you, Drew. Wow, this is crazy. Have you had the breakfast before? Nope. Where do you, do you not order breakfast from anywhere? I usually eat breakfast in my house. Or I just like eat like granola kind no, of stuff. No, but when you're like on a road trip or. You just don't eat breakfast? I mean, McDonald's breakfast usually. Oh, I forgot, yeah. I guess. There's, see, like where I'm from, like there's more McDonald's than anything. So. Henry, love your name. So cute. It's it's and she in the way that rugs are. Girl, carpets are for men. You're literally right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it is a secret. Everyone be really cool. Listen. I hope I also get five eyes. Yeah, I think you do. Thanks. I feel like it's the, like, maybe this isn't fair, I guess. But for me personally, I feel like the reason I read bisexual, not lesbian, is because I'm like so femme. And obviously there mm. are really femme lesbians, but I feel like I specifically am giving bisexual. Yeah. That's what I hope I'm giving. People do asso assume both couples have the same sexuality. Mm -hmm. I do feel like Phoebe's definitely reading lesbian. Well, they wear a carabiner. Mm. Yes. So. When we first started dating, they were like, I'm bisexual. And I was like... Interesting. No, literally. I was like, fair enough. You seem really annoyed by every man we meet, though. <laughs> I am bi, but also trans mass non-binary with a non-binary lesbian, so everyone assumes I am a lesbian. Mm. I'm always like, screw you guys. I'm not a lesbian. Lesbians are cool. I'm not one of them. Yeah. <laughs> they are quite lesbian coded. If you say up, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also just remember like them being like, I think I might just be a lesbian. We were like already engaged. And you were like, okay. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> 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 it was a great by radar. I do. Obviously, I do puddles. Now, if you guys haven't seen puddles, hold on. I've been. I, I think she looks like she has underwear on her head. I also. I still don't have any fucking pumpkins because Leaf won't come to my fucking island. Okay, look at puddles. Oh fuck! Hang on. Scooch over. Do you see how it looks like she's wearing underwear on her head? I really don't like her eyes. <laughs> She's scary to me. I have seen Barold. I also hate him. 
Do you ever sway towards the use of pan? Wait, hang on. Are you talking to me? I have never used pansexual. There's not a real reason. Me neither. The reason that I have is that I discovered bisexuality on Tumblr at age, I don't know, 15. And I was like, that's me. And then later I heard about pansexual. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't really see the difference. Yeah. Whatever. And then the only people I knew who were pansexual were like really fucking mean. And they'd be like, you're obviously pansexual if you... <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> if you're like trying to find someone who's androgynous. Like if you don't just like boys and girls. Right. And I was like, oh, I don't really feel that way. I feel like bisexual means like... I'm attracted to people who are like me and people who are not like me. That's how I see it. Like my gender and all and other genders. All the other ones too. Yeah. Um and then it was kind of just out of the bitterness of those people that I was like, I'm bisexual still. Yeah. And now <laughs> using my sexuality based on how pretty the flag is. To be fair, the bisexual flag is very cute. Mm-hmm. The non binary mm -hmm. flag? Hideous. So fucking ugly. Yeah. I don't get it. That's how I feel too. Like pansexuality, like wasn't, like it wasn't. About it wasn't a word I had not little. heard personally. Yeah. So it's not that like I probably am. It not turns also, out people but... can interpret labels. I also um, once heard someone say that the way that they thought of it is like bisexual is like I am attracted to these different like genders, but like in different ways, like. It is relevant in my attraction to them what, like, they identify as. Mm -hmm. And I think that is kind of true. Like, the way that I find, like, the way that I am in have been in love with, like, a man does feel different than when I'm, like, in love with someone who's not a man. But, like, not bad or worse or, like, more intense, just, like, different. Yeah. And, like, for some people it feels like the same type of love. Like, the same vibe. I don't know. And I was like, oh, Okay. But basically, now, as an adult, I don't know anyone who's snotty about one over the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's National Coming Out Day? Yeah, that's You're why we joking. started it. What? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were just talking about this. <laughs> and that's why we started it. Wow. We're trying to get you to come out. It's okay, this is a safe space. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> one of my best friends described it as hearts, not parts. Yeah. I have also seen that. Do it, peer pressure. If chat started <laughs> coming out, we would never stop. Vibe sexual. Uh, that's so true. <laughs> Especially monsters. I'm happy for you. Oh. I don't need more rocks. What I need is money. So Give every day, I shake all my trees every day, and I—that's how people are always like, "How do you? How do you already have so much furniture?" Like, so many recipes and stuff when you have not been playing that long. And that's how I shake all of my trees every day. If you haven't been here for me to play Animal Crossing. You're teaching me so much about Animal Crossing. Thank to you. To be fair, I never really watched anyone play it before I got it. I was just like, that looks guys, fun. Do you guys have a light? Like, do you have the Switch light or do you have a big Switch? No, the regular one. Does Jake not play big? No. Oh. Not usually. That not, he plays Zelda Aww. big. But he doesn't play Animal Crossing big. That's so funny. Yeah. This is Spork. I also hate him. Is he a little piggy? Look at his little tail. I don't hate him, but he's not a girl. No. In the vibes that I want. No, he shouldn't be in Girltopia. He, should, he doesn't Look belong at him. in Girltopia. Look no, at his he little t-shirt. He belongs in like a cottage core <clears throat> kind of vibe. Maybe if he had a cuter outfit on, he'd be better That's in Girltopia. True. It's Rio's. Interesting. Send him to Boytopia with me. Oh my god, what if Phoebe makes Boytopia? That Phoebe keeps great. saying they're thinking about restarting their island. And I was like, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. It's pretty fun over here in Girltopia. I thought about making a Nightbot command for girl because I need everyone to know that girl is not the gender. Girl is like the vibe I'm going for. Mm -hmm. I identify as a bitch who fucks. So real. We did villager hunt for Girltopia yesterday, mm -hmm. and you got that one guy who's not a girl. Yeah, I got but Sasha. But has girl vibes. I have Sasha who was like, 
according to Animal Crossing lore, a boy, but he's he's a girl. He has beautiful eye makeup. That's what matters to me. He's a boy who is a girl, and that's why I love him. Yeah, I often say queer. Yeah. I, that's what I love about it. I think we all know someone who's like, I hate the word queer. Yeah. Because I feel like it's not cool to say. And like, if you don't want to say it about yourself, that's so fine. I don't think it's fair to tell people what they can't call themselves yeah. if they, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chaos incarnate, and it's everyone's problem. Yeah, I love being a girl. Although I have PCOS and some doctors technically say that it's like exclusively an intersex condition because it's like your hormones. Like yeah, the doesn't things- Doesn't it make you like, the things, like facial hair and stuff Yeah, too, the sometimes? things that are in your body are like not typical for someone who is like assigned female at birth, if that makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, so- Cause I know people with PCOS that have like yeah. beard, not like a full beard. No, but I shave my little definitely face. Definitely wispies. Not like as often as some people have to. Yeah. And I only don't want to be my girl. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. Um, I also, I think we've talked about this on stream before, but basically on the way to like possibly get a PCOS diagnosis, which to get an official diagnosis is kind of hard. Um, because the only way that they can diagnose it is they have to do an ultrasound at a very, very, very specific time in your cycle. Um, that's me. Yeah. And so basically like what'll happen to most of the people I know who have it is they're like, we can't really prove that you have it unless we do this expensive and really specifically timed ultrasound, but you probably have it. But I got an official diagnosis. Um, because we had to do the ultrasound anyway. You can be biologically intersex and still be a girl. Absolutely. I would like to be clear. Yeah. What I am saying is that might be me. <laughs> right. Um. My friend did tell me that she's been shaving her face, like her whole face, like doing the, like micro whatever they micro call bleeding. it. Micro bleeding. Yeah. And I was like, what? And I was like, am I supposed to be doing that? Because like my, it is hairy on here. If you don't want it, you can. I certainly won't start. But I, now I'm nervous about it. <laughs> Now I just have anxiety about it. No, that's fair. <laughs> it is also something you have to like, you like, you really have to clean the blade. It is a lot of work, kind of. I had to answer my doctor's rigorous three to get my PCOX diagnosis. That's exactly what it's like. Learning the answers to some riddles beforehand. Oh, anyway, I, I remember when we were on our way to get my possible diagnosis. Oh, I didn't know if my freaking pumpkin starts here. Oh my God. You could have had pumpkins I this whole time. I could have had pumpkins this whole time. Um... Oh my god. Amazing. Okay. I would like to buy a fuck ton. Um, Phoebe was like, if they tell you a PCOS and like some folks thinks it thinks think it's an intersex condition, like are you gonna have like feelings about it? And I was like, Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> and they were like, excuse me, oh my god. And they were like, um, you know, just cause like you really like being a girl and like you're very girly and like this would mean like maybe like biologically, you know, it wouldn't, like, would you feel any type of way about it? And I was like, ooh. And then I was like, actually, no. But I think if I wasn't literally married to a trans person and had a lot of conversations about Phoebe's gender when we first started dating, I might have really had a lot of feelings about it, actually. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm hashtag blessed by my husband who's trans. Um, love that yeah, love that guy. <laughs> because... They're absolutely right, and they know me very well, and I do think I would have had some, like, feelings about it. A little crying it. time. Lesson, talk to trans people. <laughs> They're just like you, only smarter. Mm -hmm. They're just like you, only they've thought a lot more about their gender presentation. You got lucky, you got diagnosed at 17. Wow. Diagnosed at four is crazy. Diagnosed at four is also crazy because, like, a lot of your secondary sex characteristics haven't even started growing. So, like, that means you were really insulin resistant <laughs> yeah. and a really big sis. That's so stressful. But I'm so proud of you because here you are being amazing. 
I could be late on sex intersect. IDK, it's hard to find out about it online. Literally. I think it's because you start Googling things like this, and it's like, well, one time a man doctor was like, mm, right. this woman's a little lumpy. Maybe she has this thing. And then they're like, some people are not lumpy for different reasons, actually. Huh. Unbelievable. It's because if you shake trees from the front. It all looks like the front. No, you can only be, oh, Red's here. You can only be, see, she turns to them and then you just. Okay, you make it sound so easy. Some of us have to run away. <laughs> Man <laughs> doctor is 1743. Women don't exist. Yes. Bye sock puppet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I learned from Hanny, who is not here today. Hannah also restarted her island. I don't remember what she named it though. I love her so much. She was playing so intently the other day. Yes. <laughs> She called hers like, she always calls her something like really like soft and cute. So I feel like it's like Dove Cove or something like that. And you shake trees with net in your hands. Yeah, I never yeah. have my net in my hands either. Yeah, you gotta have your net in your hands. I don't be carrying shit around like that. That's fair. It's in my pockets. Do you have big pockets? Like I have four levels of pockets. I think I do. Now I'm curious if I do or not. <laughs> <laughs> So that already has your correct name, right? So like you don't need to start over to change your name? Oh no. Oh, good. Hmm, I don't know who's real. Okay, I don't like that guy. Let's look at, I know, I don't like him either. People love him. No, his eyes are frightening to me. Yes. Why are they just little slits? They scare me. They're up and down. I don't know what he's supposed to, like he's a fox, he's obviously. He's a fox, yeah. Okay, but foxes are sly and sneaky. Yeah, I think that's why. That's but his <laughs> eyes are scary to me too. Yeah. It's because of their up and downness. I think it's because it reminds me of, I, I never watched this movie, but there was a movie when, when Blockbuster was still around that had a cover that was like, it was like a face that was like that, but it was like all teeth. Huh. And so every time I see his little eyes, I think teeth are going to pop out. <laughs> I want a closer look. Uh, I forgot like, what it's like to go to Blockbuster and walk around and be scared of covers. Yeah. Like, you're like, why'd I come in this section? It's all scary stuff. Yeah. This looks real to me. One thing about me is that I, whatever painting I look at first, there's like a 90% chance that I will buy that one. <laughs> Could it be fake? Is that what you're saying? Yes. So it can be a fake one. You take it to Blathers and he's like, this is a fake. And then you can't sell it or give it to anyone. So you just have to throw it away. So you spend all your money and then you throw it away. Yeah, I mean, you spend, you know, 5,000 bells on it. That's a lot of bells. Hey, not when you're shaking your trees every day. I guess that's true. That's like one day of tree shaking. I guess I've never shaken a tree for a whole day. I know, that's true. You haven't learned. I haven't learned. I've learned so much in this time. Or you. keep it for the vibe. That's true. You can put it up in your house, which I do a lot. Hmm. I do like that Jack Lennon you have. Yeah, well, he's not artwork. He's just a portrait. Oh, well, he's cool. Yeah, Isabel gave him to me. It's of the guy who comes on Halloween. Oh, yeah, the Halloween guy. I Jack. remember that. Which makes sense. Thank you. Bye, <laughs> have fun in your appointment. Good luck. Good luck. Hopefully everyone is nice to you and they listen to you. Yeah. I gotta water my tomatoes. How are you? Wait, are you burying the money trees? Yes, I have one in my pocket that I haven't buried yet that I forgot about yesterday. So it's just in my pocket. A whole last tree? Yeah. Yeah, you know when you find money in the ground, mm. you can dig it up, and then if you bury money back in that same golden spot, it'll create a money tree. And then in three days, money will fall out of that tree. Like, three, if you put 10,000 in the hole, it'll be 30,000 bells. And you can do that every day. I should have read a book or something before I started playing. <laughs> to be fair, I had never played, and I only know so much because Phoebe and Hannah both played a lot when they were kids. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm right here. That's what you're doing? I'm right here. Please. <laughs> Please. Why don't they want to listen to me? Money trees can be very lucrative, yes. You're pressing the buttons. I am. What else are you supposed to do? Hello? It couldn't have died. It charged all night. Whoa. I should make a girl topia. Exclamation point. That's like. 
Okay, here's these. Hmm, hold on. Please hold. Right. That's so weird. Hello? That's weird. Listen, I do really want the cute ones. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I have a controller I can plug in. But that is really strange. Okay, let me plug in the other one. I have a really cute Isabel one. I also have this really cute Tom Nook one. That one is so cute. I was looking at it. I haven't charged it, though. Although, I wonder if it keeps a charge, because I charged it before I put it up here. It does not. It's really cute, though. It's so cute. But I have this Isabel one that was only $20. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, if you play games big, it's important to always have a wired controller somewhere. That's smart. Yeah, well, then you don't have to charge it. Yeah. Although I should charge my Tom Nook one tonight. So I can yes. play. That's really cute. Oh my God. It's also a really fucking long cord. It's crazy. It is long. You could like sit on the couch with this guy. I could. That's probably the point, I guess. Mm. Oh my god, sorry. Didn't even scare everyone. One fear. Get in there. <clears throat> okay. I thought you were holding it. Oh, I thought we were gonna hold hands. Aww. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I, forgot yeah. to, I forgot to change the game to uh, Animal Crossing. Oh yeah, from just chatting. Forever ago. Now, I don't know what'll happen, but... There's three million people playing it right now. Oh, just a cool three mil. Just a cool three mil. The other problem is, it's, this is so different than the other controller that I have to like get used to using it again. Yeah. Which is confusing to me. It's a okay. totally different vibe. Sometimes I just oh. hit my little- A little prince is coming. Oh no. In a princely way. Guess who I called? Toyota? Toyota. No, I guess I should though. Huh? Le Chua? Yes. Okay. And they don't do that. Yeah. They do not fucking do that. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. What doesn't make any fucking sense to me is how every single person is like, no, it's really easy, but we won't do it because it's too hard. Yeah. Right. That is not my favorite. They are just pushing the problem off on someone else. Did and they I ask did. you if it was hard beforehand? Literally. Yeah. Yes. Well, no. Actually, not Les Schwab. I was like, hey, do you guys do such and such? And they were like, no, we are a tire place. And I was like, they weren't snotty at all. And you're like, I get that. No, no, no. <laughs> I was like, so cool. Appreciate it. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. I think what's most annoying is they'll be like, you should call the place you already called. Exactly. Right. That's that's what's most frustrating. What I want to know, and I'm just going to do it, okay? And I'm just going to make a TikTok video about how to fucking do it. But what I would like to know is, like, who, where... Is there not a market for this? Yeah, I would pay too much money mm. to I, not have to do it myself because yeah. I'm really scared I'm gonna electrocute myself. Yeah. Or break my car forever. I'm just not understanding like how literally no one is capable of doing it. I do think Toyota will do it. Toyota will definitely do it. Do uh, they cost money though? Yes. yes. Uh, I do think you could ask how much it'll cost though, and I do think yeah, they'll probably tell you. Tell you. No, that, that's why I was calling the other people originally, is yeah. I was like, how much does it cost to do this? And they were like, here's the price of the lights, and I was like, that's not what I said. Yeah, right. lights are like $20. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. I think I'm just gonna fucking do it. You don't wanna call them first? Toyota? Yeah. No, because I feel like it's gonna be, I mean, I guess I can. At this point, I feel like what has happened is I have called eight places, just kidding, it's like five, and like emotionally committed to like going to AutoZone, buying the shit and doing it. But if you have to take your time, shit off, you yeah. can't Also, do that we part. need to change both of them at once, probably. Yes, no, I know that. So I'm just gonna buy. I mean, like, if it needs to be on a little, you know, the rack or whatever. Get the shit off. Yeah. To get in there. That's what I think. The front one, not the need, back one. Do you need to be on the rack? I'm pretty sure Jiffy Lube does it. They do we have a Jiffy Lube? to take a piece of the car off? Yes. Why do I need to be under the car? Because they have to take off the whole front. Yeah. I'm not understanding why that makes me need to be. Okay. Back. So it's like, it's really big. Yeah. I don't think your arms are going to be able to just pull it backwards. No, it's going to have help from someone. I'm leaving today. Well, right. <laughs> I'm hearing that. I guess my wife isn't capable of that. No, I mean, I, I can't. I really... I'm just, I feel like it would be really difficult to do the, at least the front one. I think you could definitely do the back one, but the front one, I feel like you need to be at a car. Even play. Sandy, okay. who knows a lot about cars, was like, just buy a new car. 
Because <laughs> it's too hard. I, guess I don't think that you could do it. I believe in you, and you're yeah. massive. And you're I, you're very capable of doing hard I things. That. Yeah, I just think that it's too hard for one man. That's fair. I think it's worth. I've had JP Lube change up my lights before. It wasn't too expensive, if I'm remembering correctly. What kind of car do you have, though? Because I think that's the problem. Is, is it our a car? The front bumper car? Yeah, our car. You have to remove the entire front bumper and access the entire front panel, which makes no sense to me. Why they would build a car like this? Yeah, just because they hate me. Really. That's the reason. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just give them a little smack. Toyota. Just call and see what they say. What they and if it's a horrifying number, then we will learn how to rip the bumper off yeah. ourselves. All right, I'm here. I believe in us. But I think it's worth calling. I think it's definitely worth calling. If it's under $500, I would say do it. That's I feel you cannot queer audacity your way through this one. That's how I'm feeling. That's how I feel about it as well. I feel I'm like scared. they can do most things. But yeah. This thing seems really hard. This seem, it doesn't just seem hard. It seems like it's something for a professional. Like specifically difficult on purpose. Oh, see, here's my money. Queer <laughs> audacity box. does not unelectrocute you. I got Literally. electrocuted the other day. Did you? I said the other day, it was a few months ago, in my laundry room. I plugged in a giant pumpkin light, jack-o'-lantern blow mold, and it was old, and it was dusty. And you're not supposed to put dust in an outlet. And you got a little shock. And I went <laughs> <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Jake was there and he was like, he literally screamed. I would scream. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> don't do that. Hey, look out for, <laughs> like, true city here. <laughs> That's so scary. It was so scary. I got electrocuted once as a kid by, uh, I was like five, and I literally was like, what will happen if I lick this outlet and then plug it in? Oh. I oh found out. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's like when you're a kid and you're like, I don't know how anything works, so I'll just do stupid stuff all the time. I mean, that's how you learn, I guess. Well, Cassie, that's why you should just restart your island. Everyone will be excited to see you because it'll be for the first time. See, that's what was happening to me is my husband was playing on our island and the villagers were asking about me. And I was like, that's giving me too much stress. I'm never going back. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never see me again. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want fortune telling, so I don't think there's anyone I could give it to that would like it either. Decorative shells. I don't need clay. Those are things I'm giving away. I do need the pumpkin starts. Oh, I definitely don't fucking mm -hmm. want basketball tank, and I don't want anyone else to have it either. And you can have this orange. All right, there's all the things I'm selling. Christmas lights have electrocuted me far too many times. Christmas lights are so frustrating. That is so scary. Um, Mom really wants to have permanent Christmas lights. I don't know if you guys have seen this on TikTok, but it's like you pay some company a large amount of money and they are permanent Christmas lights. They're like always on your house. They're like screwed into your house. And then it's like an app for you to change them. So like when you're having like a birthday party where the theme is pink, you can change all the lights to pink and be like, come to our house. It's the one with the pink lights on it. <gasps> is Spork thinking about leaving? No, 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 come back out. <laughs> He's not gonna be thinking anymore when I come out. Maybe he's thinking for a long time. Oh. Please, Spork, please still be thinking. <gasps> he's still thinking. Okay, let me put my thing away because I'm scared I'm going to hit him. <gasps> yes. Amazing. Good luck out there. Bye. Bye. Get out of Girltopia. Bye, Barbie. Okay, I've got a lot of things to put in my home. <laughs> I got the electric chair at work. <laughs> hey, I'm glad your no. head's okay. That would be really scary. Bye, Ken. Bye, Spork. Okay, let's put some stuff away. And then, should we go to work for the first time? I haven't done that yet. Oh, wait, I gotta plant my pumpkins and water them for sure. Oh, let's put my Monstera in my new room. His name is Spork. And he's really, like, I do think he's cute as a villager. I like his face and his tail. He does not fit Girltopia. Oh, horrible news. I actually already have a Monstera. <laughs> I didn't even know. No, I have two. <sighs> Perfect. That makes more sense. This is my room where I keep my Monsteras. <laughs> 
I do want Mr. Flamingo. I gotta put him outside. I gotta put this away. What's this? This is a present I can give someone. Let's put all these fossils together. I also need to plant bamboo. Oh, my pipe is definitely missing because it's not in its spot. Is it still out in the world? It is. It means I used it and then forgot that I used it and started running. That's okay. I can find where it is. It started running. <laughs> Sometimes I just run away. I get that. You know, you know how it is. They're on the phone with Toyota. Well, they're doing business. To Monstera. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to my Monstera house. My Barbie dream house is just house full of Monstera. Let's see. Should I just farm my tomatoes and pumpkins and then replant them and time travel to get them? You could. Yeah. I'm trying to play slow right now, and so I'm trying not to time travel. It's very difficult. But you get a lot of money for pumpkins. Oh, no. Oh, dancing the little prince is back. Okay. So Toyota. Oh, no. $160 per hour. Oh. oh. Well, how many hours do you think it would take? Yeah. I don't know. Plus whatever the price of the headlight and the taillight is. Plus there's not anybody who's available to help and do it. So she had to send me to somebody's voicemail that I just didn't leave because I was like, 160 per hour is a big number for me. Yeah. I'm not so much about that. Called Jimmy Lou. I said, hey, what do you guys charge for a headlight and taillight? Like replacement and the labor to do it, and they're like, it's twenty nine ninety nine for headlights and ten ninety nine for taillights. And I was like, okay, cool. Is that including the labor? And he's like, yeah, we just do that. And I was like, okay, because it's a Yaris, so you have to take off the whole front bumper. And he goes, oh, if you take off the bumper, we don't do that. You should have not asked, and then we should have showed up and like, said, you promised. Yeah, you said you would do this. <laughs> I don't listen. It sounds like I'm learning a new skill. I will say, Toyota doesn't seem completely unreasonable. If what if it only takes an hour? Is if they're 160, Kyle? That's still 160, right? You can't see at night right now. Yeah, we can't drive to Portland tonight. You gonna do it today? I was. That's what I'm working on right now. That's oh, okay. What I've been oh, okay. Okay. On. okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine then. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that's fine. We believe we love it. We love it. And we love it. It's a good plan. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you also <laughs> weren't going to do it before today anyway. Do you know what I mean? Well, Toyota could have done it today. We hadn't even, you didn't, you weren't trying to get me to call Toyota today? No, I, I did yesterday ask you that. There's not a mom and pop mechanic nearby that we know of. Even so, it seems like nobody will fucking do it. I do, like I was going to say, like, I would take it, there's like a garage down the street from me that I would go to. You also consider the cost of more damage if you do like it yourself and you do it wrong. Do we really think that I'm going to fuck it up so bad? I don't know, that's the fear I have. Are I you, don't know about taking cars apart. Are you personally. willing to gamble that maybe you will? <laughs> What would, what's the worst that could happen? I'm not going to total our car, right? Our headlights never oh work again. Dad's God. ringing the doorbell. I bet he's watching stream and now he's sad <laughs> for you. <laughs> Blow a tree up. <laughs> Cars are like 3D puzzles. Carrying your way into a free headlight. The headlight itself is like $20. Yeah, that's not the issue. It's the carrying our way into the take the bumper off the car. Yeah. <laughs> we need someone to take the, the front bumper off. The frumper. The frumper. Okay, mom <laughs> oh. says, one, we can take her car to Portland so we don't have to worry about it today. Oh, that's a good idea. Is she not going to Grammys? And two, she can take her car to Grammys. And two, apparently in the 2014 onward, they don't make it so you have to take off a whole front bumper. It's like partial bumper taking off. And, and it looks fine and easy, which is why there's a YouTube video about it. All right. All right. Well, and I, they say, here's I how to not mom. total your car yeah, while too. taking off the front chunk. Everybody thinks I'm so incompetent. No, I, no. Am, I don't want you to die. I've actually been watching a show called The Golden Bachelor, and he's very sad about I, his wife. I, I yeah, and every person on that show has died. Literally. Every person knows someone that they love who died, and they want to tell you about it. It's yeah. very stressful. They're held on with plastic clips that break when you try to remove them. There's special tools for the clips, but they still bust anyway. So remember that. If I'm just bumperless, that's fine. I need no bumper. Is that fine? You yeah. do need a bumper. But you look very cute in your dress. You're mean. And your boy dress. You're a mean girl. You're a mean boy. No. You're putting on your workout overalls? Right. You're my workout overalls. You're going to go out there and work it out? Yeah. I expect to come out there and have see you with, like, grease on your face. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> come it'll, on. It'll be like that scene in Grease. Come on. We need a sexy mechanic time. Yeah. <laughs> 
See, this is why you can't leave. I know. You have to live here forever. That's how it is. Mom and dad are tussling. Well, the question is, when am I going to come back? That's so true. Because I didn't intend on coming back this time. I just decided to. No, you have but to But now I'm back. directly planning it. Yeah. We're free anytime, except February. We're going to Las Vegas. Unless you want to go to Las Vegas. I do like Las Vegas. Yeah. If we could go to the pinball museum, it might be worth it. Yeah. We're going to the punk rock museum for sure. I am from Florida. That's true. Which is so fucked up. So annoying. We actually weren't friends when Phoebe and I lived in Florida. I know, so funny. We we did follow Kyle. Kyle was our first like influencer that we really cared about, which is funny because now it's our job. Yeah, now you are the influencers that I care about. That's true. <laughs> I'm planting pumpkins. Wow, so festive. It's high time we get some pumpkins in this town. Roll switch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, hey buddy. What's happening? Why would I want it there? Wait. I dug a hole. <laughs> Do a ramen bumper? What does that mean? I don't know, that's scary to me. What does that mean? I have seen where people do like advertisements. Ramen noodle bumper repair? You're joking. Oh, I see. People put the noodles in the car. Yes. Okay, I thought that was just a silly thing we were all saying. I thought it was like, now, where did I lose a pumpkin? I did hear the oh, weather's been I nice see. at home um, because I told someone that it was 50 degrees at the time and they were like, oh, it's 50 here this morning. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? There we I'm go. Saying, that's hammock time. Yeah, that is that's cozy hammock time. That is, I'm, I'm hinting hammock. Hinting hammock. It is because I left. Yeah, that is exactly what happens. I am <gasps> deeply unlucky. So you're both really lucky and really unlucky at the same time, all the time. That's true. Okay, see, now it's a good thing I have a pipe because I need to go buy a friggin' yeah. watering can. I love that it makes a noise too. When you're going yeah. Out. There's a bunch of Mario stuff. I'll show it to you. Hang on. First, I have to do this. This is important. What yeah. is that? Oh, he's a little tanuki. I made him. I thought that was a guy who was going to try to talk to you, and I was like, why does he look like no, that? No, he's a statue. I understand that now. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot in Boston? Ugh. Famously cold place? I need a watering can, boys. You got one in here? I really hope so. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Just a shitty one. You got a shitty one. <laughs> 95? That's pricey. Okay, no. I do need to buy candy, though, because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I think they're all alive. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay, you can only buy one piece of candy at a time? Or what? one one every day. Okay, fucking move, boys. <laughs> they live to work. They love capitalism. It's 54 Fahrenheit here. <gasps> oh, that's cute. It was nice of you to put it in Fahrenheit, because I would have no idea what Celsius meant. Yeah, someone was like, oh yeah, it's like something, something degrees here today in Australia. And I was like, literally don't know what that means, and it, I'm not going to respond to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna respond. I just, I don't, I'm not gonna ask you what it is in Fahrenheit. I'm just not gonna ask. I ask our robot lady all the time. Yes, that's smart. The only problem is if other people have a robot lady at their house and they're watching, okay, I oh, obviously, it, it, it tells wakes their up. robot to wake oh. up. Yeah. Good thing you call her a fake name. Most yeah. Most of the time. We do. We call her BB Rexa a lot. Okay, does everybody look sparkly? Is this guy sparkly? Okay. The Nooks are capitalist girlies. They literally are. They love capitalism. Yeehaw. Oh my god, Sarah Strawberry up two years? Yeehaw. Yee freaking ha. 74 in this building. Mm, it is. What does it say? It says right here. Oh, 73. 73 outside. 12 degrees Celsius. That's so little degrees. 
Okay, that's a little, that's a baby number. The numbers are very confusing to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't remember if I already checked these. Oh, nope. I didn't! Okay, I don't need a fucking stick. <laughs> I'm not interested in that. Okay, what I am gonna do is plant a piece of bamboo up here and it will grow and I will have a bamboo forest up on this hill. Good job. Nice. Okay, let's find Rio because I have something that she lost. Now, hold on. Where's my pipe? Were you not in there oh, a moment ago? I'm just making sure I didn't lose it. Okay. Because I keep everything in a specific order. Yeah, I also didn't know you could organize your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> How are you playing the game? I'm just wandering around and bumping into shit, basically. Yeah, did you talk to anyone? Yeah. Did you go villager hunting? No, I don't know how to do that. I never left my island. Oh, no. <laughs> That's very sad. I played it for a while. I'm, like, honestly genuinely confused as to how this much stuff happens that I did not know about. I do feel like I learn new stuff all the time. On accident. Oh, is there a fossil back here? There is. I must not have shaken these trees. I'm too busy getting stung by wasps. I guess. <laughs> You're, you thought you this is a game where you clock in, you get stung by wasps, and then you leave? I thought you do chopping of trees, yeah. planting of things, mm -hmm. organizing your house, stung by wasps. Yeah. <laughs> but what a fun game. <laughs> yeah, I must not have shaken all these. Interesting. Time to shake. Okay. <laughs> I love when you just give it a little smack. <laughs> For so long, Kyle, I couldn't, like, get it right to get inside <laughs> of places. So, like, I would walk up to a door, and I would just be, like, hitting it with my nuts. <laughs> let me in. Yeah, so Phoebe made the meme of Eric Andre saying let me in at the White House or whatever. But oh, it that's was, funny. But they put me holding a net. <laughs> and they were like, this is what my wife knows how to do on Animal Crossing. Just smack and be upset that she can't get inside. Yeah. Yeah. On hairstyles to wear a base cut. <laughs> right. See? That's what I'm saying. I only know there's a trick because I'm telling you, Hannah knows everything. All the time. Okay, see, this is what you're supposed to do. I found money in the ground. Mm. I picked it up. Now I go. I leave the hole there. I get 10,000 bells from my pocket. I bury in hole. Then I pick it up. And now I have a money tree to go plant wherever I want. Oh. Yeah. I have two in my pocket, so I gotta go plant both of them, because one's from yesterday that I forgot to bury. Wow. Yeah, I'm way, I've only caught one scorpion the entire time I've ever played the game. Uh, I'm way better at catching the tarantulas. I don't know why. In theory, I think they're supposed to be the same amount of difficult, but I'm way worse at the scorpions, even though I think it's the same trick of just like going slowly. I'm also really bad at fishing. That's fair. I get too excited and I hit the button too early. That is what I do. Yeah. I'm like, oh, the fish! Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's because I think I can predict it, and it turns out I almost never can. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot what's his ass was sick. I haven't, I don't care. I hate him, so he can be sick. Now, where's Rio? What's that little star for? Is that a Mario star? Oh, yeah. Plays music. Yeah, I can show you all the Mario stuff. Let's you don't have to. Well, too late. I was just like, what's that? Oh my god, that Rod doesn't belong there. Again. <laughs> she loves to sing. She does. She's beautiful. Yeehaw! Hype train! Thanks wow. so much. Incoming. On the way. <laughs> uh, okay. No, is it? It's not like love. It's like shopping. Special goods. Okay, so they have mushroom. Oh, shit. Block, coin. I had a whole Mario section on my old uh, island. <gasps> There's the, mushroom. The popcorn. pipes are the only thing you can, like, use. Right. Otherwise, it's just, like, Otherwise, they're just decorations, yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's not true. Cute. They have, they have, you could use the clothes, too. <gasps> I know. Why don't you have a crown on? <laughs> it's 12,000 bells. You're right. Yeah, you can get Mario, Wario, Luigi outfit, Mario. Prince I do have a Princess Peach dress. Wario outfit, Luigi shoes, Mario shoes. 
Princess Peach's shoes are, I guess, red, which seems cuckoo They could bananas. be pink. Why wouldn't they be pink? Yeah. This is, uh... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So you can have a Mario room also wow. at your house. Thank you for sharing that to me. It's pretty nice. Let's see what my island's rated. You can so you can kind of teleport. It's like so you have to already have a pipe somewhere else out. So you have to have at least two pipes in order to use the pipes, if that makes sense. Um, so I keep one behind my nook's cranny, so that I can always quickly. Hey, I have two stars, so that I can always quickly get to nook's cranny to sell stuff. Folks will see more development of the island. A wide range of storefronts. I always have one by my home, the entrance of the airport. Interesting. Well, that makes sense. I keep one in my pocket. Oh, do you want to hear something insane that Jake is doing on Saturday? Yeah. Remember how I told you about Mr. Orca? Yes. He's going to wear it. Amazing. To teach someone how to do it. I can't wait. And I was like, do you know how to do it? Yeah. <laughs> You're making it up, it sounds like. I didn't where I put my ship last night. Oh, switch makes a lot more sense than ship. I was like, where did you put your ship last night? Ahoy, sailor! <laughs> um, no, now I, you I have hate to go show him. I hate him, though. Okay, I gotta give her a present, because I love her. Let's see. Mr. Flamingo, decorative shelves. Oh, let's give her mom's tea cozy. She'll love it. I feel like she'd like that. <gasps> Thanks so much! She's so cute. Can you hear the hint fridge absolutely singing? It's just going. I know. I also need to find fucking Rio and give her her shit. And then I can go to work. Okay. Oh my god, there she is. Wow. So if you. I don't know if Rio is new. Hold on. I gotta get her on the other side. I invited her here. Now, I don't think I'll be keeping her long term, but she is definitely giving girl. Oh yeah. She's giving, like, girl that's, like, really into. Like obnoxious like outfits. It's giving in me the like best cool way. older sister vibe. Yes, very cool over, older sister. Mm -hmm. Jumper work suit. Oh cute. Okay, hang on. Let me get her from the other side. Look, she has a little star tattoo. She has a little face tattoo, and I love her. Just saying hi. My current favorite. Let me think. My current favorite is probably Sasha. I just asked him to move in yesterday. Hold on, let's go say hi to him. Oh my god, embarrassing. She was mean to me when I wasn't on for a while. That sounds right. I also, my houses don't make any sense right now. I'm gonna move them all eventually. She does listen to Boy Genius. There's no way she doesn't. This is Sasha. And I feel like he's the perfect example of what we want here on Girltopia. Because Sasha is, like, if you Google him, he is a boy, using he, him pronouns. But that is separate from him being a girl for Girltopia. Yes. He's giving Girltopia. This is a this is a citizen who belongs on Girltopia. So he's my favorite right now. He's so cute. Are <laughs> you okay? Facial recognition turnstiles have come to the Universal Orlando Resort, now in technical rehearsal at Islands of Adventure. It will eventually replace fingerprint scans. What does that mean? Facial recognition? That's going to be really stressful if people are trans. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's Although like... I guess oh, they using photo validation is optional. Please see a team member if you wish to opt out. It's like at Disneyland when you when you scan your ticket, they take a picture of you yeah. sometimes. But they also still scan your finger, I think, right? No, they don't scan your finger. They just they, take a picture? So they take a picture the first time you use your ticket. And then they check it. Every and time then, yeah, every time you. you scan in, like, there's just a computer and they're looking at your yeah. picture. Okay. That makes sense to me. That's I think just... it's something similar to that. Oh, okay. Doing. Yeah. That's just, like, human recognition, though. I don't feel like it's facial recognition. No. You're... I mean, I don't think they're saving your data. They're yeah. just like, thanks for your ticket. Get in here. Get in here. Okay, let's wear this jumpsuit. <gasps> it's pretty cute. It's not as cute as my Denim Overalls. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Oh, I should give Sheldon medicine but okay Rio you're not doing a very good job baby she's just watching it she's so silly that girl when I trans Disneyland what when I trans comma Disneyland, Disneyland got, got so, so mad, mad at me 
My picture looked very different from me after lockdown times. That makes sense. Yes, I see what you're I see. What you're I was saying when you I trans Disneyland, Disneyland, and I was like, what? <laughs> trans the whole park. Give me more information. I would like to go there. Yeah, I want to go to there. Let's put that in storage, pop that guy in storage. Okay, let's, what time is it? Let's go to work for the first time. Yeah, and, I would and, rather them do face recognition because Jake's finger never works. Oh, Because no. he puts that cocoa butter on his arm every day. Oh. I think it's literally like eradicating his life. And he's got slimy hand. Yeah. Made Goofy put on a skirt and she had an awakening. <laughs> Are my Disneyland trans? I helped, when I was in GR at Disney World, I helped a guest who... Uh, so when you have a Florida, what are they called? Pass holder. Like an annual pass? Annual pass, thank you. Um, <clears throat> when you have a Florida one in Florida, you can pay monthly on it. It is literally, mm. you have to live in Florida. You have to have a Florida address and preferably a Florida ID, but if you can prove that you live there with an address, like, they'll do it. Um, and they take a picture of you and it's like a lot of work and you sign this contract saying like, I will be, I know that I'll be charged monthly on this credit card for my like annual pass mm. um what is difficult about this is that what people don't understand is that the contract that they make you sign is like literally a completely third party it is not disney world who controls it they like third party this like contract and the people who are going to be in charge of charging you every month um so when you want to change anything to it it's like we can't like in the contract it's like you would have to talk to this company to do anything anyway so someone that i helped who could have been lying but i don't really feel like it's, it seemed like it would be a lot of work for them to lie about this right um came in and some other stressful person was helping them at the front who wouldn't help them um because their fingerprint wouldn't work, so then they look at, like, anytime your fingerprint doesn't work, we can look at the pictures of every person who's ever used that ticket. Because if you look, when you're walking into all of the parks at Disney World, there's, like, cameras all above you. So every time someone scans, it takes a picture. Um, anyway, and, like, if you looked at the person who scanned in two months ago, they looked very different from the person standing in front of you. And they did look really different. Like, this person got a huge haircut. Um, they were dressed completely differently. Like... But, like, in those things, because you're looking down to scan your ticket, you can't see their face a ton. Mm. So you're looking for, like, hair color, hair length, things like that. Anyway, this person was trans, and they were like, I use a completely different name. Like, I'm a completely, like, I am the same person that using the ticket, but, like, I am, like, living a different life than the last person who scanned in. Um, and the first person didn't believe them, which I was like, first of all, if you change it now to be this person, then that means the next time someone else tries to use it, then they run into the same problem. Right. So why would they do that? Um, tracing your gender just from free Disney seems like a lot. Right. Exactly. Right. <laughs> um, so basically, I talked to them for a super long time, and I was like, I literally legally cannot change the name on your annual pass, like, because that's the name you signed up under. Like, even if they were to legally change their name, mm -hmm. we can't change it till you re-up your... Thing. And I was like, I can change it in the app, and like every way that you see your name, I can change it to your new name. Yeah, like my that's name's super easy. In the app. Yeah, um, but like what you sign the contract as, even if you, even when people get married, we can't change your last name on their annual pass until they renew it. If it's like the the contract one, if it's a normal annual pass where you paid all at once, like Disney controls it, so we can change it. Interesting. Um, anyway, it was super nice to help them. They were super nice to me, um, and I got the cast member that didn't help them in trouble. Yeah. And they had to Correct. go to, like, a sensitivity training thing. I think also, like, this is a person who doesn't know anyone who's trans, which is not a crime. But what they should have done was maybe grab any other cast member right. to be like, hey, do you think this person is trying to, like, swindle into getting into the park for free? Or do you think it's, like, they're telling the truth? And every other person with a brain would have been like, this would be a lot of fucking work <laughs> to try to get someone into the park for free. Also, like, you can see that, like, the other times they've checked in, like, the people who were standing with them were also standing around them again. So I was like, it's clearly the same like their family. family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I hope they're having a great day. I also, anytime someone, like, stress had something stressful happen in the bathroom, which was, like, super rare. In the year and a half I worked at GR, it only happened twice. But both times they were like, Morgan should handle this. And I was like, I'm on my way. Wow. 
And I feel like, you know, my husband's actually trans, so I get it. Although now I think they have a couple trans cast members, so they probably grab them. But it was quite a time. I love GR because uh, you can actually help people when they have a problem versus oh, just so getting nice. yelled at at an attraction. <laughs> right. Okay, this is Nico. Is he a monkey? Yeah. I love him. Isn't he so cute? I love his I'm hat. literally obsessed with him. Yeah, he's so cute. What a stupid swindle. Literally. I was like, do you really think someone went through all the effort of like trying to I mean and like what they what they I guess thought is that this was a totally different person. And I was like, if true, then like this new person is the one whose fingerprint and stuff will be attached to this ticket. Right. And like I'm documenting everything. So when the next person tries to come back to use this ticket, then that person would get in trouble. Or this person in front of me is telling the truth and they'll just have a good time using their annual pass for the rest of the year. They transition and also bought a new family. Classic trans <laughs> behavior. Literally. If someone has the money to go and like get a little makeover, why wouldn't they just buy their own annual pass? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is Lottie. So you, you even played Happy Home Designer at all? Mm -mm. This is where you go to work. You have to work? You don't have to. You can choose to not do it. Oh, well, I love that guy. Yeah. With the other little hat. Or the shirt. Yeah. I love him so much. I want more merch of them. They look like they work at the Polynesian. They literally do look like <laughs> they work at the Polynesian. <laughs> Stuart Little got adopted to a new family to commit fraud at Disney. I also was like, if this is a completely different person, like, where's the first person who had this pass? Like, why is it? Yeah, what'd you do to them? Why isn't that person here? If, if you think this is a totally new person, they just left her at home? Right. He <laughs> just said, we're getting a new kid. Get out of here. It was also like a like 19 year old. You know what I mean? I was yeah. like, this person wasn't buying their own annual pass anyway. Like this mom was buying it. Why would they lie? Anyway, I hope the person who was transphobic has a horrible day. Mm -hmm. He was also like the type of cast member who like loved to not give people the disability pass. Oh. He, yes, there's a, not a ton, but there's a couple of people like that. They but love they to. They think people are like abusing it? Yeah, it's super hard to abuse. Oh my God. I mean, I don't use it now. I don't know if it's any different, but at the time, the one that I knew, it was, it's very difficult to like misuse. Yeah. So like at most, if a person is doing that, they're getting on like three or four extra rides a day. Which I feel like in I don't the care. grand scheme of things, no, it doesn't not matter. Not a big fucking deal. There's 100,000 people here. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared of getting a cast member like that when I apply to get desk. So now it's no, no, like- ask for someone else. If you get a shitty cast member, literally ask for someone you else. You can do that. Yeah. It's also all like, um, you, do, you do like a phone call ahead of time now. And so mm -hmm. I think it's people who are hopefully- Trained like, for that. Much more trained on like doing that versus like it was completely random who you would get on. Like it's just a computer picking a random cast member uh, before, which, I always, some people hated doing it. Also, because you're like just standing in the same position, answering the same questions over and over. Mm -hmm. And I love doing dis dis disability access. Because it's also, you also get to stand in a really good spot for the parade. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't listen to anything Lottie said. <laughs> it's in your locker on the second floor. Nice. I can change. Let's go pick up my outfit for work. Amazing. Yeah. You're going to look like you work at the Polynesian. I work at the Polynesian. <laughs> Just so many ways in which this person was being gross, literally. Oh. Looks like my work uniform's in here. Does it? <laughs> it looks empty to me. I'm not hinting work uniform. Wow. I know, I'm very excited. Um, I could work in bear hat. <laughs> I could work with curly curls. Wow. I haven't applied for DAS, <clears throat> well I haven't applied for it ever, but especially with the new like system, <clears throat> what I can tell you is that genuinely there are so many like Disney influencers out there that there is certainly someone who's made content about like here's how to apply for the new disability access. Oh yeah. You can literally like look it up on YouTube and like hear tons of different people's like opinions on them. Okay, should I wear a tiny hat? I do love tiny hat. I'll probably oh, wear a flower. Come on. It's pretty cute. Yeah. Matches your hair. <clears throat> um I could be a little cat. <laughs> um, but I would, oh, I don't want to be a cat. Sorry. So I would do that. Do you wear silly socks at work? Good morning. I love that. Welcome, Myth. Oh, the pink socks are cute. I know, the pink ones are really cute. Those look warm. 
Um, cause I know, I, all I know now is that you have to, you schedule it ahead of time. I think you can still with Disney, at least like talk to someone in person when you get there, if you want to, but now you don't have to waste like the point is waste that now you don't time. have to waste time in line at the park. It was a game changer for how much the park now Disneyland Paris is completely different from what I understand. Yeah. I don't know how that works at all. I think there's just like a literal pass you hold. And nothing's digital. Oh. I think. You do get, well, see, now I don't know. I, I know at least for the people that I've seen the disability access at Horror Nights with, mm -hmm. they do have a paper pass. And they have to write down the time you come back every time. They're like, you can come back at yes. 1230. Yeah. Yeah. And then they give it back to you. Yeah. And that seems They also in Disneyland Paris have a thing for pregnant people. And so, like, I don't know That's if you have nice. to, like, prove that you're pregnant. You're like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And I also don't know if there's like a certain number. Like what like, if you're only like two months pregnant? Yeah. Does you're it not count? Like showing it. Yeah. Um, but supposedly they also have like a pregnant pass in Disneyland Paris. I love that. We're paradise planning. Oh, she's so cute. Wow. You don't have to do proof and just explain. Wait, you don't have to do proof. Just explain your issues instead. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I think so. Yeah. I hope so. I'm sending you fine vibes. Yeah, we're sending you very fine, maybe even easy vibes. Yeah. The Animal Crossing, wait, got the Animal Crossing Wii game recently, and it's so cute, but also a little scary because of the early 2000s graphics. Oh my gosh, triangles <coughs> everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only one that I've ever played. If you want, boss. boss. He's so cute. <clears throat> okay, I forget who the first one is. Oh, Ellie. She's so precious to me. Eloise. Wow. She's really cute. She's an elephant that you can't tell right now. I'm seeing a little tip of her nose. Yeah. And it's interesting me. She's really cute. Hello, welcome. Oh. Look at her big eyes. Wow. I'm excited. I don't remember what her vibe is. <laughs> she just be farting. Yeah. She's so cute. I also like how I just show up and she's like, great, you're hired. And then she's like, here you go. You can have the first client we've ever had. <laughs> Get on it. Let's all have a seat in our new meeting area. It's outside. It's alone. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's so cute. She's got a fun little drink. Yeah. She's having a little Coke. I think she is snooty. I think you're right. We're doing good. We're just playing Animal Crossing. Yeah. I restarted my island. Okay, yeah. So she'll tell you my relaxing reading room. Oh, I love that. And so these are the things you have to include in it. But you have to, like, also include also other things, other obviously. Stuff. Yeah. Interesting. A relaxing reading room is exactly what I need, Eloise. Ask with the location. <laughs> that island. I also wish it was as easy. I wish it was also as fun to have a job yeah. as it is to have a job in Animal Crossing. Yeah, should we all start saying toot at the end of things? Toot. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that I don't have fingers. I just have little, like, little nubs that I pound things with. <laughs> Yeah, she's like a ball. Yeah. Just a little ball. Just a little fist. I also love that the people, like the economy of Animal Crossing mm -hmm. is that people have enough money that they can live in these homes and they can buy little treats and they can buy treats for their friends and they mm -hmm. can also have a vacation home. Even though, from what I can tell, none of them have jobs. Only you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one who has to work. I also have to do work on my own island. And my order is already here. All right. And then Nico just stands outside. That's so cute. Okay. Let's go real quick. Okay. De get into decorating mode by pressing down. Perfect. Furniture is right. I wish to have a vacation home and no job. Correct. 
Report to the client when the job is finished. Okay. Now, I feel like I'm going to forget what the buttons are again. Can you decorate the outside of the first house? Amazing. Perfect. Let's go into decorating mode. I'm trying to decide... Can I copy? Nice. Perfect. She's got the perfect amount of books. This chair is actually not what she'll be reading in. She doesn't know that yet, but... Okay, how do I turn it? No. A. Hey. Nice. They all have very important jobs that include walking around the town, watering flowers, and standing in the way. <laughs> oh, the other thing, Kyle, is you can pick up the villager. Hold on. I want to do it where you can see her. Oh. And I can put her in the chair. She's already <gasps> reading. Wow. She already loves it. Okay, let's pick out some furniture. You forgot the job of being cute. That's true. It's very important that they be cute every day. Mm -hmm. Or they'll get kicked off Girltopia. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Here in Girltopia, we have very, very high standards. Oh, I think she probably needs... She probably needs uh, some tunes. Some tunes. Okay, we've only got black and brown. Brown it is. <laughs> Brown's cute. Yeah. She definitely needs a plant. I'm not necessarily a newbie. I'm just a can't-play-it-right <laughs> guy. <laughs> no, I think you do a good job. <laughs> Every time I do something, Kyle's like, what? <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed the game I was playing. Yeah. But were, it is very different than the you game were you were playing. Get Stung. <laughs> I was playing Get Stung game. Say Hello game. Yeah. That's a di much different game. Okay, we got very limited stuff to work with here. That's okay. I can make that happen. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. I'm gonna, what I want Just to relaxing. make is... Yeah. Yeah. It's giving relaxing. I think it's missing 15 monsters. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Don't even freaking joke with me, because it is. I like when it's like, this has to go on the floor. Okay, we definitely need more plants in here. What are our plant options? That's what I thought the game was. And I thought everyone was, I was like, how is everyone spending hours on this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm shit at fishing. I can't find anything to yeah. sell to that guy. <laughs> I'm getting stung by wasps. Yeah, you were doing a much different game, <laughs> which is mean game. Yeah. Very sad, very mean game. Yeah. What book is this? Oh, pop-up book. <gasps> Shark book. Oh. Savannah. Flowers. Oh, hello. I don't think I need it, but it is really cute. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense why you'd be confused why people were spending hours on it. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't seem like that fun. Like, it's a little fun. <laughs> Listen, she really wants to sit in this horrible chair, and I want her to have a cozy chair. Yeah, she needs, like, a comfy chair. I was playing Silent Hill. <laughs> it's a much different game. I mean, I've got this sofa. What are the sofa options? Okay, the green's kind of cute. Oh, like the, the white, white is also good. The dark brown is also fun. It's very study. Yeah, I'm trying to give. I'm trying to do like dark academia, mm -hmm. which is fun because she's yellow, so it's not really her vibe necessarily. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do this plant. Creepy music. That is scary. <laughs> I'll put this one here, even though it's technically a horrible place for it. Um, I need. Where's the thing where you can grab things that's underneath it? You'd be right there. Can I put the other room on the side? No, I sure can't. That would be nice. That's all right. I can figure it out. Why would you breathe in the coffee, baby? That's not what the coffee's for. <laughs> She's like, now I'm fucking done with reading. I'm over this. I'm over it. Okay, I unfortunately have to include this because she wants it, but I think I'm going to have double couch. Mm-hmm. I think that makes the most sense. Are there any rugs in here? Let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I need to kind of even this out a bit more. There we go. Okay, I think actually I'm going to put this over here. 
She's like, come into my weird house where I've got music. This is very cozy. I'm hinting cozy. She's so precious to me. She's so cute. Yeah, you're supposed to not, you're not supposed to breathe in the coffee. Horrible news, you're supposed to not do that. Ranch tea table. The low table I feel is too boring. It's very low. This is the creepy part of the music. Now it's done being creepy, I guess. Now that I brought it up. I guess natural? <laughs> Green gingham? It's pretty cute. Oh, I love that. Thank you. Well, you know, you sit. It's like that guy. Your friends can. Animal yeah, right. Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's right. I'm owning it. Okay, now she's being really cute, everyone. Wow. Content warning, she's precious. Okay, I also need like a little table over here to put more books on. You can't change the record anymore? Oh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> she won't change it. She loves this song. She'll listen to it every day. <laughs> oh my God. Why are these so bad? The dark brown is not that cute. It's fine. Oh, it's big. I can put a plant on it. Well. <laughs> I probably need a skinnier one, but I don't. It's you're doing great. Thank you. And then I also am gonna put we love a routine girly. She has the kind of autism that Phoebe has where she only wants to listen to five different songs. Mm. And other than that, no other songs exist to her. Okay, wait. This is cute. It was her mom's. Aww. Yeah. It's good to have a family heirloom. And then on top of this, we should put like a little cup of tea. Yes. Let's see. The floral's really cute. Mm, I'll probably go with floral. The elegance too much for me. Damn, I love this song. <laughs> Phoebe will listen to Harry's house, which they've heard every day since the day it came out, and they'll be like, oh my god, I love this song. And I'll be like, yeah, you listen to it every day. Oh wait, can I put plants on top of the... Hold on. Oh, I can't. Dang it. It's so fucked up. Come to our reading room. Yeah. Where we read. Okay, maybe I'll switch these. Maybe I do want her to be able to change the song. Possibly. Oh my god, my phone scared the shit out of me. I thought you were getting a call. I did too. It was just dad. He's always texting me. He's obsessed with me. That makes sense. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah, what I wish I had is like a skinny table. Even though you wouldn't be able to walk past it, I wish I had a teeny tiny skinny table. Right. Just for your plants to sit on. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to change the wallpaper. Can I change the wallpaper? I must be able to. I changed is the that floor. That? Yeah. Well, they're all kind of bad. Uh -oh. oh, no. Uh -oh. Give me my dark floor back. Well, that's cute. Uh, I wish it wasn't so, like, orangey. Yeah. Yes, they are building a library. Uh, yeah. Right now it's got a skeleton in it and it says, part our pixie dust. Yeah. It's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Oh, I've got elegant beige rug. That's pretty fun. Um, yeah, we are working on the library very slowly. A lot has not happened. I guess I should say not a lot has happened. To be fair, the last time I was here, you talked about it. So there's That's true. been more happening since I've been here. That's true. You've definitely made some progress. Some things have definitely happened. There okay, are boxes in there. Yeah. That I assume are shelves? Yes. Yeah. Some of the shelves are built. Not all of them. Okay. But a few. Okay. Can I put lights on yet? Do we have lights? Or is that later? Oh my god, I should give her little slippers! Yes, so okay, she can on. be cozy. Yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. If, if I click on her, I can change it, right? Here we go. Wow. Okay, dark academia is what we want. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this? Yep. Wow. It's a dress, but it's also, it could be like a little house dress, you know? Yeah. Oh, no, she can't put slippers on. I forgot. 
because of her feet? Yeah, none of them wear shoes. Oh. Yeah. Is, it, is there like a reading hat? But they're walking around outside. I know. She definitely needs little glasses. Does she glasses. need glasses? Yeah. Oh, my For God. reading. Okay, oh. wait. I love that they... <laughs> they're nowhere near her they're eyes. They're nowhere near her eyes. <laughs> These ones are really cute, though. Okay, I think if she's wearing this, though, she should wear a little hat. No. Oh. Tiny hat. The tiny hat is so funny to me. Yeah. Okay, none of them are... None of them are... None of them are That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, done. Cute. Wow. Look how cozy she is. She's falling asleep because oh, it's so fucking cozy in okay, here. Okay, she looks grumpy. Oh, she's smiling now. Yeah. I was like, she was like this. Okay, be finish. All right, I think I'm done. What do you think? Excuse me. No, I want to talk to her. It's ready. It's ready. Wow. She's got the opposite eye spacing of the guy that plays Dudley Dursley. Okay, so then they do a little commercial. That's so cute. Which they did not have to program into this game, but it's really cute. She's checking it out. She loves it. The best is like, it's like completely random what like angles they do it from, I think. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you'll get them just like peeking over something. <laughs> Being scary. She loves it. No, I forgot to decorate the outside. Oh, were you supposed to do that? I don't know if I was allowed to. I for sure met this exact girl on Hinge and crushed on her immediately. <laughs> it went perfectly. Thanks for asking, Lottie. It's because there's so much more to do at the beginning of the game. Like, restarting your island is so fun. Also, I'll say it again. People will be like, I don't want to restart my island. I'm really attached to the people I have right now. And it's like, when's the last time you played? Okay. If you haven't played in the last two months, you might as well restart your island because you're not visiting them now. They're just sitting in your Switch, mm -hmm. not seeing you. Missing you. Missing you. There he goes. He's so cute. He's so cute. I want more merch of him. I have, so I have... A little board where I've got Animal Crossing pins. Oh my god, I don't they're have so many. cute. But that's Tom Nook and Guest Relations. Yeah, it was like a limited Wait, run. These are all so good. Yeah, none of them are like official merch. They're all from Etsy. Well, yeah, but they really should have save files. I have Pietro. You have excellent pin taste. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 6,000 Pokey? Not Bells? So you make money here, but you can only spend it here also. Which is strange and not how a job works, but Lottie's really cute, so I let her do it. I guess that's fine. During my last mental health valley. No, exactly. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. If you've, if you've got a lot going on mentally, what's really nice is you can wake up and be like, at least my Animal Crossing villagers are excited to see me. I'm excited to see them. I wish I could ask Wardell to move my island. He's so him. cute. I love his shape. He doesn't talk, but you talk to, if you talk to him every day, he eventually gets like to know you. He's literally so cute. Hold my hand, Wardell. <laughs> it's hard to time it right. Wow. I'm like, so bad. Now I'm inside of him. <laughs> it's almost right. Yep. Okay. Beautiful work. I can't chain move. I have so many photos of us. <laughs> what? <gasps> I thought he was like, yeah, like pushing you away. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Here's a little banker's lamp. Love that. How many pokey is this? Perfect. And then I can take it home. That's good. Yeah, at least you can bring your stuff home. Yes, you can. Bye. <laughs> I just have a little assignment and I'm sticking to it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Phoebe was gonna 
do Horror Island, and then they didn't really do Mary Ranch. So what I can do right now is there's people hanging out on the island. It's scary. I and I could time. talk to them and be like, did you want a vacation home? And then, like, every person has, like, different themes. There's one who's a lion, and he wants toilet room. <laughs> and he wants you to put three toilets in it. It's very strange. It is quite a design challenge. Because <laughs> you're like, I don't know if I want to build toilet room. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah. Poor island. Yeah. <laughs> that would be more fun. No, they thought about doing a scary one, and, like, each house would be, like, a different famous like horror movie love that which i think is a really good idea but they didn't get very far but they might pick it back up it also sounds like a lot of work yeah so I we could also like we could make another canva overlay where we keep these things the same like the the chatting oh, and the Boytopia. gameplay but we could make a welcome to boytopia mm -hmm. oh there they go let's pull the bumper off yeah good luck <laughs> Just in time, uh, I'm going to, I think, maybe wrap up the stream. We streamed for a long time yesterday. That's true. Yeah. I made toilet line a public bathroom as a vacation house, and I hated it, but he loved it. <laughs> That's what he wanted. Let me put my new... Oh, there's Charlize. I haven't given her anything today, either. Oh, she's so cute. She's really cute. She's one of the ones that I got when I restarted my own. Is she a jock? Why is she wearing that jacket? I don't know. I don't think she's a jock. I think she's normal. Hmm. Have these decorative shelves. You must be driving away. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Hi, Hi Barbie. Hi, mommy. I think he does need therapy. It's very strange of him to want public toilet house. He's only got one butt. Yeah. Why does he need three toilets? Why does he need three toilets? It's only one room in that house. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the early ones. Okay, Mr. Flamingo is so cute. What are they doing? Oh yeah, putting my plant away. The two options, jock or normal. The normal one is called like, it's like sisterly. Did you say preppy? It's not preppy bad. is one of them. Oh, okay. It's like sisterly. I don't remember all the names of them. Phoebe knows all of them. Do you have more than one room in your house, Pendless? Or are you, do you have four potties in one room? <laughs> That's true. You should put four potties in one room. Maybe that's what we need. Group potty time? Group potty time. Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Stop asking so many questions. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Nice. One bedroom, four bath. <laughs> Zero bedroom, eight bath. I'm saving. Um, nice. I'm ending stream a little early so we can hang out. But I love you all very much. Should we raid someone? Oh, yeah, Let's see. I haven't in a while because I haven't been here. Ian's the only one streaming. That works for me. I don't know what Ian's doing. Um, We're getting in there. Yeah. Go say hi to my love, Ian. He's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very fun. Um, okay, I love you. Goodbye.